there! Fortnite Mares 2021 has begun! Fortnite is going through its usual spooky seasonal change and with it comes a bunch of secrets to find from upcoming quests to story beats we can try to predict. Please think about using code ADAMARU for all your purchases around this spooky time of year and sit your butt down for 5 minutes and let's break down what's new in the world of map changes. Like we could start anywhere other than the new POI at the center of the island. For a month or more, we'd watch the cubes roll around seemingly aimlessly, but it was all leading to this point. Yesterday, an army of cubes surrounded Goldie Blocks, and today, it all makes sense. The Queen has arrived and currently sits in a sphere above her kingdom of cubes. There's a few nods to the history of Fortnite here we should uncover. Remember back when Loot Lake was turned into a springboard? That has been replicated in this world. And should you look closely at the Queen, you'll see she is holding a cube. Think back to where we've seen a guy floating in the air in a sphere holding a bit of a cube. All the way back in Chapter 1 and the emergence of the Ice King. He did the exact same thing as the Queen, held in a sphere, summoning something with a shard of cube energy. Sadly back then, it was more fiends and zombies and everyone was a little butthurt about the island becoming snow covered. From a lore point of view, we now are able to link those two events and hopefully once this is over, the Ice King won't be a throwaway character and he'll have some importance. One more week until we see what the Queen has in store. I mean, apart from the caretakers. Another easter egg to find in this update is the butterfly, a rift butterfly we've seen so many times in our history. Jonesy became one the last time we saw him and this is also a callback to the first time we ever met a rift butterfly. We slowly made contact with one, being very gentle. Well, the Queen, the Queen doesn't feel the same way. That butterfly is no more. Before we move on, can we just spend a moment listening to the Queen laugh? Ooh, goosebumps. Halloween may be a little further away, but it's already making its mark on the Fortnite island. First, the return of the jump scare zombies in random objects around the world. The first one I encountered lived in a fridge. The battle bus had its annual update too, with music and the lobby screen is all spooky to get you in the mindset of ghosts and ghouls. Halloween is slowly kicking off with some homes in town POIs putting up their decorations and getting in the spooky vibes. After seeing the trailer, I ran to Pleasant Park. I couldn't wait to see the new musical stage. But alas, either that is only in the trailers for advertising purposes or hopefully that will be part of next week's update. A stage like the one we had at the beach last season. Maybe it will build over time this week. Anyway, in the meantime, there are things to see at Pleasant Park right now. The Battle Bus Inflatables, the Gravestones, the Witches, it's all coming back. And where do the locals get this stuff from? At none other than another forgotten location, the Hey Boo store. A few years ago, it moved over to the Viking ship, and it's there once again right now in game. Most things are set up like they were last season. It's packed in here. There are a few key changes, mainly to the skin statues in the lobby area. They've been updated to be more recent skins. And the best thing about being here is the return of a meme strat, replacing the statues and standing as still as you can, waiting to kill an unsuspecting player. By the way, if you do use that strat and hide here, let me see it. Tag me on Twitter, please. Here's something very cool to look out for. A year ago, a subtle Easter egg was revealed. The Ghostbuster car was hidden under tarp down at Camp Cod. Striking it made the sirens give off that wailing sound just like the movies. The Ghostbusters are coming back this year, and thanks to a trick with the replay file, we can spot this. It's a ghost catching device used by the Ghostbusters. These traps are around the island. I've seen one at Retail Row and at Craggy Cliff so far. Not only is this cool having a Ghostbuster crossover, but this time we have challenges to capture ghosts, something completely new for this game. Around these spots you will find floating objects in your replay files and I have no idea what they are for. Are they part of the Ghostbuster quest line or is this something completely different? Oh and as I'm recording this, that event went live. You have one week, happy ghostbusting everyone. Some areas of the map have not been updated like you may be expecting. The tiny chair and Teddy are still the exact same as they were last week, and all the gnomes are frozen in time, about to make their escape. Oh, and this is a good time to bring up a bunch of gnomes I missed last week. If you'd like to see more of these cute buggers, get your butt down to the cabin in the woods, and by the back door, here they are, packed up, ready to leave this island forever. Little do they know, they can't escape. None of us can. Whilst looking around, some strange things can be spotted. There's loads going on at Craggy Cliffs. 
While here, you'll see what looks like footprints, likely those of the new caretaker NPC. These can be found all over the island in sets of four. Check this one. A mysterious ritual site has been found over by the tiny chair, and it's possible to get close enough to this kneeling altar, and you'll see an urn donned with purple cube runes. This looks important. I'll be certain to keep an eye on it. If we are deciphering these runes with urns and tablets, then maybe we will someday understand the mysterious alphabet on all those cubes. And finally, we can push for answers, that means. So get in the game and do your challenges. We've got lots to uncover. So much lore. Over to Sloane now, and only seven days ago, we looked at the possibility that Sloane, the big bad guy from last season, was on her way to put right what went wrong. She's slowly been going around the map, trying to get some alien tech to a location, but we don't know the location. We all hoped it may be the redacted bunker. And this week, she is one step closer. She's gone through retail row. She's unbelievably close to getting answers for us. Or, let's be serious, she'll likely drive straight past, or maybe she'll go up the mountain and live in the snow for a while. Come back in seven more days, let's uncover what the heck is going on. And another reminder, there is another truck which the IO use to move things. Over at Holly Hedges, the first truck still sits there dormant, ready to go. It's got alien tech, it's got plants all over the back, but it's just sat there. Maybe Sloane will be coming back to escort this one too. Time will tell. Surprisingly, the biggest update this week is actually in another game mode. Party Royale. I'll admit, I don't usually visit this place unless a movie is being broadcast. But wow, if you want to check out some Halloween updates, this is the place to go. As this mode isn't my jam, I'll just say have a look if this is your kind of thing. One thing I wanted to ask you guys, the new LTM. In this, there are receivers or antennas of some sort with this purple glow. Are these just here for a one-off or do you think they have a bigger part in the story? Good luck beating the final boss. So there we have it. How did I do? Did you notice anything that I didn't? Please comment below and I'll try my best to reply. Here's a bunch of leg ends I talked to this week in my Twitter DMs. Slide on in sometime. I'm Adam, you're awesome. I'll see you next time. Okay, those who don't watch to the end, I've gone. I was hoping to talk to you for a sec. I'm looking to know what kind of Fortnite content you'd like me to make. I'll never be a daily YouTuber, but I would like to improve what I do and make more Fortnite videos. And I'm thinking about going back into lore again. Is that something you'd be up for? And also, the, with the DC Fortnite crossover series continuing, I'm thinking of breaking that story down too. Any advice on content you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to read it and reply and try and learn from it. So thank you very much for your time. Appreciate you taking a sec out and I'll see you next time.